I can run I over not. that and do a quick one. Yeah, that um, looks good, Mike. Okay, I'll really All right. Do, um, do a hard copy. Oh. Did you make it extra long? Of course. No, that's um, the next. I follow oh, him. Okay. Is anyone sitting to the right of Veronica? Mary Jane. Mary Jane. No, that's Veronica. the left. The, your other oh, right. Emmy Hawk. She just stepped out. Okay. And then we also have James Gates. Mm -hmm. Over here. Okay. Well, you can't get everybody in the picture at once. So if no. James wants to move to the table at the end, that's fine. Oh, James, you want to move up here? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> James. He doesn't want to be in the uh, well, I guess just because this is getting recorded, I'll say uh I'm Mike Crowley, I'm the land use coordinator for the town of Townsend. Uh, this was going to be the Open Space and Recreation Committee, but we do not have a quorum for today's meeting, and so we're going to do a work session instead. Uh, we have four of the members, but we needed five of the members for an official quorum. Uh, because it's a work session, we're not going to take any votes, but we're just going to work on the open space plan and get some stuff still moving along. So, uh, turn the camera and then go hide behind it. Now, if you got to turn it a little more so you can get Emmy in the picture. Well, she's not in the room, but I, I could. her uh, chair will be here in spirit. Uh... I guess we could try that. That's an idea. Or over there, maybe. Uh, over there does not work because my laptop doesn't work if it's not plugged in. Well, now, why is that? Don't you have a new laptop? Most of the laptops, when they got bought, unfortunately got plugged in and then left for six months, which killed the battery. So most of the people who want to use these laptops don't have batteries that work. Hey, that works. Yeah, and that looks good. All right. So you're the leader here, Mark. Well, 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 I mean, you, um, you picked it. If there is anything we would like to have, I can go print it. Well, I do have a normal computer upstairs. I can go print stuff. So well, is I'm there. printing the actual. The plan? Plan. Let me go grab. No. Let me go see if I have. Jeff is on this. Jeff. Jeff will grow. Jeff is not here at this meeting. Oh, because I thought he was going to have the draft ready for us for this meeting. The draft of the plan? Yeah, the first draft, section 124. Right. Uh, I haven't seen it. I'm looking at it. We're going to, James, we're going to steal this so much. This is such a good idea. I can't believe we never thought of this before. Because now I can see everybody. Um, so under the work question, yeah, the block draft land acknowledgement. Yeah, so that's a specific question. Yes. question doesn't say what section. Yeah, correct, because I was in at the last meeting, so I didn't know what to do. Okay, I know that. Well, we don't, because we're not having a meeting, we yeah. don't have to follow each other. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to, because in fact, we, we really have to think of the example we can't do. Okay. We can't have. Uh, call, we can't call them in the order, we can't approve minutes, so we have to pass an hour. Um, so I can talk a little bit about that, um, and then we can just work on whatever we want to work on. But if I can grab anything to help, I can go grab copies of things that would be easier for folks. I mean, we can get that, but I'm going to go grab them. But well, what is the grab plan to talk? Well, we'll have conversation. That's a good place to start. Um, Wait until our other oh, members. Everybody's. <laughs> I can. Sorry. But what? I, I know. But yeah. you'll have to repeat when they come back. That's fine. That's fine. What's LUC mean? Sure. LUC is Land Use Coordinator. Oh, okay. And I, I actually, Carol had the same question, and I apologize to her because I always do make a try to introduce acronyms before I use them. Yeah, yeah. And I had said it was planning and zoning and all those, but I haven't mean, apparently done it for land use. With, with the uh, open space, yeah. Um, so it's land use coordinator. That's, that's me. You. That's me. So we could put M C. We can just cross up the L U C. If you cross up the L U, just put M. Oh, if you want. I do. Although, don't be confused with Mary Jane Turkle. Okay. Thank you. Also M C. Got it. Okay, I get it. Okay, so I'm, I'm up to speak. That's all right. So, so does Jeff? Do you have you spoken with Jeff at all about where we stand with our classes and our so I guess I'm a little confused and I should maybe have a sit down and chat with him. Mm -hmm. From my last conversation with him, he's waiting on stuff from you guys. Yes. 
I think that's great. And the problem is I have been sensing things. So, and I can't, and then I'm really bad. Um, I can't find the, um, so, yeah, so, um, are you? No, so we all have. Great, so I know, we all have a lot of tips. Different things. Yeah. Right. And I know that many of those got sent back. Correct. Uh, I think actually all of the ones that got picked got sent back. Well, I don't know. James, would you send your um, information back to Jeff on the uh, other design? Those two. So I guess it's George and I know you are. You're the only ones who have done work and we appreciate it greatly. <laughs> um, we have this model to learn. What we should maybe, did you get minutes from the Jeff? No. Well, that's well, she said I said them, but you didn't get them. But we can't, we oh. can't show them the minutes. No, I just wanted to read them. We didn't have the book. Okay. But if we had the minutes, maybe that would like jog our memory. Because oh. it's been a long time since we met. Yeah. It's months. Okay, so. And, oh, well, oh, actually, I don't have the actual minutes because I have my computer that's not like. Right. So um, tell me what I volunteer for. Oh, you know that before. Oh, that's, that was the problem I was asking. Yeah, you're really, you're yeah. really behind. I'm really behind. Okay, you chose, what's the name of that? you chose chapter six? What is that? The June 4th meeting. Do you have the June 4th meeting? April. All of my notes are usually there. I know that it might be bad. Do you think I know? Um, so, I have to be with the um, building. No, we're done. And uh, open on the floor. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I thought I was doing um, no, they don't love this space. No. If, if, if you have space upstairs, um, the great hall is available, I would have preferred that. Okay, right. up there. So, section three. Oh, yeah, long term development pattern. Which one? Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, there's one. Oh, oh, my goodness. goodness. Okay. 3.4.3, long-term development status. Okay. Yeah. Is that what we Yep. That would be right. And there was something else. And it was like in section five or six or something, maybe four. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't know, but they should be on the website, right? I can pull them up. Let's see if it's new. Yes, they should be on the website. The Open Space Committee does not have a page. No. Why not? Seriously. Shouldn't we have a page on the website? I can fix that. Um, where do you store the minutes? Minutes if under land use department? Um, they are usually just stored with the agendas. Oh, which okay. are where? Let me help you. It's usually just on the calendar. Hello, everybody. But the calendar does not post the minutes and general, the agenda. Right. Ah, okay. It, it's just when you guys choose stuff around where it's different than it was a couple of years ago. I know that. Well, we changed the website. Right. We redesigned the website. So agendas and minutes should be on the board pages. Look, and last time I checked, they didn't have the dates. Custom network. If it's for conservation, the piece of them is going to do any posting. Well, at least for the agendas, the agendas you have to go to the calendar to get the up to the agendas. Now, I haven't 
checked in a while because I just looked up off of the calendar, but I know where it was. He has minutes, his minutes are here under conservation mission. Um, right. I'm not but, like six months ago. So Matt, so just for Conservation Commission, those are posted on the, the minutes and the agendas are posted on the Conservation yeah. Commission webpage. So that's for open space? space. Or not for open space. Not for open space, because we don't have the page, but where do you find it then? Where do we not? Uh, that's, that was my question. I can ask Harrison to put one up there, and I probably should, so that the agendas and minutes are there and can get posted. Okay. I didn't realize it wasn't here. I don't I minutes. You do not have to take minutes. You want to take working notes. That's fine. Yeah. No, I I have filled this notebook since I started here full of not minutes. So I completely completely appreciate that. I can even put them together if we want to put them together. So if we put it under the landing page, I can I would put it under boards and committees. All right, yeah. and then Harrison will do it. And Harrison will do it. And you can send me stuff, though, All right. for what you want on it. I will, yep. And I'll, I'll copy give Harrison. you this. Well, I, can, I have all the agendas, all the minutes. Um, and you could send them to him, and he could. Um, okay. He's good. We also post the survey results. Yes. Oh, oh that great. would be terrific. Yeah, and um, going my email. And what you could do on the left hand page is put a link to the open space page on the left hand column on the main page. Yeah. Once we well, have to do a page, I'll put a link on there. Yeah, that's a very good idea. You didn't want topography and geology and soil. No, but I was looking at that. And that is that in chapter four? Correct. Yeah. And it looks pretty. I have not changed. Nothing, really, nothing has really changed in that regard. No, so but there was stuff right. on there um, in that chapter that had to do with wild and scenic. I mean, the wild and scenic stuff wasn't in place mm -hmm. at the point that the last one right. was made. Call it doing vegetation. It might be worth I I was doing it might be worth oh, yeah. in the soil section the new farmland is also important that you support so I can get over the summer regarding the the federal program farmland is also important is about open space agricultural protection for mm -hmm. soil land and certain soil quality. Right. So that's an example around there. It's just um bullet point. Did you get the amount that I left with mine? Yes. That on the website mine. The farmland is local important? Yeah. I don't know. That might happen. That happened at a board of select and we voted for it. Yeah. That doesn't mean we get on the board of select. Yeah. Well, let's put it on the open space page. Yeah. I'm looking for advances to policy. Minutes. And those. I have it somewhere. It's oh, I really don't. Uh, I thought it was economic. That wouldn't be what I would use. That wouldn't be gravitate to, oh, but I could have, you know, um, it would be more environmental work. Yeah. yeah. Joe, what were you with? Did you get one? No, I want to hear that meeting. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did you just go out of the limit? Have you changed? <laughs> so, you just go through it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Whether there's anything or a little typo. Not type of, but also like, you know, I'm, I they might have put in something that was like whatever, but yeah. Do these ones change at all? Does any so well yes. yes. do change, especially in what I'm gonna yeah, in, in, oh, in, in, yeah. Yeah, we had an amendment on Main Street right at the corner of Greeley earlier this year. Mm -hmm. Those slides have changed. Really? Yeah. Because the water? Yep. Yeah, the water is from what you can and in general, 
No, that's a good one. That's, that's what I'm looking for. Now, Beth, you might probably, you were going to get me some information on indigenous people for this area. That's my land development. So, um, I tried every which way to find the original settlers here, and I couldn't find anything on them. Mm -hmm. Why is it such a secret? Or am I just not going to like right? So, when you say settlers, you mean no, like I mean the the colonial settlers? No, the indigenous. Okay, yeah. Um, so, I reached out to uh, uh, several state and federal tribal nations, including the National Wampanoag and Tribal Historic Preservation Officer, Dave Whedon. I talked to Chief John Stevens of the Nelvegan Band of Crucis at the National Station, which is in Vermont. Uh, and I also reached out to the Nebuck Nation and the Elmu and Bernadette Tribe, uh, trying to get some of that area. For a land acknowledgement, you're not writing a full narrative history. It's just kind of an acknowledgement of who was and what they were. Right. Are. I just would like to say No, but in, in general, so um, this area was in the traditional homeland of the um, Abernathy people, in particular the Western Abernathy people, and the Mithok Nation, which was kind of the tribal group that was in central Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. The Wampanoag were the dominant tribe in the east. Um, the Mohawk and the Mohican in the west of the Connecticut River, and then there was the central Massachusetts, which didn't have, which had some settlers, not as many. Uh, um, it sounds like Townsend uh, was more, there, for example, uh, Townsend was more of a, uh, it's considered as an impressional homeland, but it was more like fishing settlements, trading, and hunting, and things like that. This was the large scale settlement. Uh, so no, there were there were larger um, settlements like in Lancaster. I'm sure there were others along the National River. Uh, there was one in Princeton in Central Massachusetts, but they also would then have like village sites where they mm -hmm. have fishing sites for seasonal. So for example, Fitchburg, which always feels weird to me, was like this premier fishing location. Like people with all the different tribes would go to and search seasonally. Yeah. All along all the different falls in the national. Because in the very early spring when the early fish run, you want to go up to very high on the falls to catch them. Um and so it was like that was no one resided there, but it was something that was allotted to the community to hang together. Yeah. And so they'd all have little fishing, you know, settlements yeah. to be there for a period of time. They move on. Return to the so it's but um you know, there were larger settlements that had you know, structures and agriculture and generational that's, what I was hoping. that's more in like areas like Lancaster, um Sun Princeton. Um typically they want to have a uh, food resource like a big pond, big river. a big river. Yeah. Yeah. The swamp is so the swamp is kind of a headwater. Yeah. So. Monica, I can't find you. I'm so, so sorry. No, in a minute. Oh. Yeah. This is this is the draft, so this little thing. Um, different, some different samples that I got from my acknowledgements, and then one for Townsend here on the back. Okay. Um, this, is, this is the one piece of work, but I was just going to print it out, share it for you. Can I get anything, Tony? Mm -hmm. This might be on the same point of work from the one you wrote from the top. So the economic development was, but growth and economy. Yeah. I want to put it in the bottom. Yes. I just think those two words, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. they usually are. Thank you, Mike. This is going to be interesting. Sure. So, yeah, like yeah. I said, Townsend's draft, the draft, I made up for Townsend is on the back. The front is just different things I pulled from. You can see what other it's community yeah. organizations have done, different things like that. Mm -hmm. So, we'll, we'll see. yeah, that's the. Because I really do want to mention it. I think that's important. Sure. And so these are typically uh, included at the beginning of documents mm -hmm. or read out loud at meetings. Um, they're kind of just an acknowledgement of that. I tried to word one because there wasn't a one, all the different folks that I reached out to were great and gave me <clears> different <throat> information, but I wasn't able to connect with anyone who said, yes, this is definitely this, just because the only um, people didn't get back to me and the network people were not have some. From what I understand broadly, they have not, they've, they're only people who are organization on it, so they're not really sure. So they need to get back to me either 
Mm -hmm. um, yeah. you know, there's small organizations. Mm -hmm. um, so I, because I didn't specifically get to talk to someone who said, yes, this is, this is what we'd like for this home that is ours, mm -hmm. I kind of kept it a little more broad and inclusive. Yeah. Um, well, that's it works. It's very open and yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so what, what I saw from what I have to learn from the, our last meeting was September, review the last draft, mm -hmm. fashion goals and vision. Yes. Read the summaries by Jeff in the survey. Yes. Send some comments to section one. That was a homework. So yeah, okay. That was a homework. Okay, so the section one to four is what I just saw. Okay. Yes, okay. 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 I don't get this one. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. Yes, recreation has a paper by itself, by ourselves. So I'm yes, if you ever need color for some things, I've got I'll be there tomorrow. I got you covered. I got it. We're supposed to be getting one soon. We were the same like we'd be funding to buy one last the end of the year, but because of the way it's been removed from leasing printers, I think it's just what I've never had about. I've never had a home printer. We just thought my commit I was like, I can't keep spending hours in the mail room printing, like storing up all my printing so I can come over here once and print. Like mm -hmm. it's insane. So mm -hmm. we ended up buying one so I could at least do the general printing that needed to be done. Okay. And not have to do it at my I actually brought one of my home home printing home just so I could print like things that I needed to work on while I was working on. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, I, 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 I had 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 consider bringing in a personal printer from home to get things done. Yeah. But then find out it's the ID issues and all that. So so like for me it's a catch twenty two. Like it's it's great that I'm yeah. not under the nose grid, yeah, but at the same time, I just don't have a lot of time mm -hmm. or options to come mm -hmm. But I do have a beautiful mm -hmm. home printer. I just love it. Whatever. Come on over. I usually have to go to the library. Yeah, so you, come, really you come on over. Mm -hmm. I got that. You're welcome anytime you want. It's great. I need to get some available. color flyers for recruitment for planning and zoning. Come, come on, on over. Come on over. Mm -hmm. Anyone wants to join planning or zoning for the field, feel oh. free to reach out. Mm -hmm. Or is it just the associate position? Uh, well, we have an associate position vacancy. Um, I don't want anything official, but I believe another vacancy is going to be opening up on Friday. Do you want and then to have two associate positions vacant? That'd be great. The zone board, if you don't mind. No, I don't. So it's a I wasn't sure if you had one. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We got to. No, I just pull them. And this, I wasn't going to try and do a lot of recruiting over the summer. You're not going to get a lot of traffic. Yeah. So, so we're going to get kicking into gear now. Yeah, I know why I'm having trouble because when we you weren't here. But so Jeff told us that he was going to take one to four mm -hmm. and create a draft. Yeah. That we were going to work on this month at this meeting mm -hmm. to create or set some preliminary visions and goals. So without that response and his synopsis, I think we're a little bit in the dark. I do feel like there's a a strange situation where we're not moving forward because everyone is trying to, you know, for exactly what you described. Like, it's like we're waiting on the next step to happen before the next right. step can happen, right. but everyone thinks there's another next step. So I'll talk to Jeff again yeah. um, about it. I think it. those responses are key because isn't that the whole point of this? I think I should say. So for the survey, yes, um, absolutely. So I mean, the, the, the results of the survey. Give us a stepping stone to go to yeah. the open space I mean, mm -hmm. just without without knowing what the absolutely. people want. So for that, absolutely. So yeah. it's the result of the open space plan survey. Are would we take into our consideration and then consider implementing into our? You know, we can as a board when it meets the open space committee mm -hmm. is an appointed body that has the voting authority, so they can do whatever they want. If, if no one mentioned an amusement park and they want to put an amusement park, they can put it in the plan. Mm -hmm. I would recommend it. But um, in general, though, yes, usually it's it's like, okay, this is what the community wants. And for the most part, the survey kind of aligned with what the community had talked about previously. It's interconnectedness of properties, um, connecting um, recreational and open space resources to uh, commerce and industry locations. Right, right. 
developing an actual map of trail systems and things like that and trying to engage, you know, get people with like more value added to what they're already doing. Right. Because I think that for me, when I was going through my section, the objective and reading section in the back, but this is what this is what existed in the past. We're changing all my time. So uh, this, except with sit with so, now, so right? there's a two different things basically in the open space plan in the previous iteration. There is the statement of what is and what has happened since the previous plan. And then the vision, the goals that we say, try work on this in the next seven years. So the, what, the two things that we've kind of been working on is one, we've been going at the plan and saying, okay, well, in the last seven years, what has happened? Right. And we're just kind of updating the recording of that. So I think like- Oh, so that's and, what he's waiting on. So that's one piece of it. Yes. So that oh, revising what previously had been set as a goal, but now has maybe passed. So a good example is the rail shop. Which, which was at the time was like, you know, it would be great. It was, I think the plan is, is even like, if there's any way people should think about doing a rail trail in town, it was like really broad. It was not like a specific target environment. Like, well, like it sounds like a nice idea. Yeah. We'll work. But 2013. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This well, is open. But the rail trail yeah. started, they started working on that 2020, 2001. Yeah. 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 Current committee, but that was an idea back in the early. Okay. So but now, now, now we're going forward so, and forward. So we do conceptions yeah. that exist and just make an eye to the questions, like the fire department is yeah. one of the areas. Yeah, update what is to yeah, what. The resolution no longer does archery. <laughs> was that one in there? Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah, I, you know what? We used to do it with the um, Tom and Ron Gun Club, but they were like, why are we letting them make money teaching the classes? Why don't we just teach them for ourselves? So that's what happened. So we don't teach them anymore. So if you want to go, you need to go to the Tom and Ron Gun Club. They're wonderful. It's the same instructors. Or you can go to Purple. They have classes. Yeah. But I still do Tom and you know, it's funny you mentioned that because I really tried hard to get some of the other clubs to come and be on the open space committee. Yet there's so much of what they do. And they wouldn't send it to them? I think it was the same thing of like, oh, yeah, we like that idea. We'll see if there's anyone who's willing to commit the time. And then it's the same thing. It's hard with any type of committee. I really, I really engaged with them heavily trying to get them involved, mm -hmm. but I think it just never got, got traction. Uh, but we're still making it. So, you know, no, I'm I'm looking for the just the summary. Oh, okay, he did a summary. Right? He did one cover. He did a cover. Yeah. Uh, no, not the kind of separate. It's a separate, yeah. separate document. Yeah. Yeah, he did a separate yeah. document of the. Um, like a summary, but in separate documents. Would the other class be worthful for appendix B? It still says it, it's still the same on the front, but the back is his stuff. I think you should have to go Like that's what he gave. That's all I have in it. So it's like, it's, it's a nice place to get it. Because then you can't miss it. Right, right. But when you're here, it's like, where do I get it? Yeah. You might have just spent the entire day. Yeah, he spent a good hour going through it. I did oh, watch. I did watch. Yeah. And he was like, the guy on stage. One of the notes. Yeah. Uh, in the uh, work section two was proposed public forum at the end of June. Which part of the team? Later, or even September. Wow. Uh, I don't know if that's something that. Where are you? Section two. Two point two. Possibly because we need to advertise at a time. But I think I think you make a good point. We should have our goals and visions together. Because that's really what the forum is going to end up being is we've already had an opportunity for public survey. People have already come forward and said this is what we want. And Again, like he is more responsive than we had anticipated. That's a great survey. Uh, so, some of those three. That was better than most of the state gets. Yeah, it, these type of surveys, 
uh, 200 responses is considered adequate. 400 responses is exceptional. I think we had like 377. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so we did overall pretty well. And I would I would rather do better. We got 9,000 people living in town. I want a thousand, but I'll take 400. I was really anxious to really get the people in the committee. <laughs> Honestly, um, but, but I think that that's a good point is to is to say, hey, what are our priorities, and then go and talk about that because I feel like that's what the public, the public is going to engage with. Um, if they show up, no offense to the public, but you know, it's it's hard to find time. Everyone's very busy, um, so I would love it if they were here at a public hearing, and I want to give that opportunity by having that forum. But yeah, those are key fifteen. I don't know where the rest of the issues 15, are. 15, 15, yeah, there's no other excuse. Like his summary is only he only actually gave us a, a document summary of three of them. Uh, no, because you know finished with four, wasn't it? Well no, there's like there's way more than there's key twenty. I mean there's oh, not talking about the question on the survey, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But we only so so maybe these are the only ones that he has thoughts on. Maybe. I don't know. Two fifteen. Yeah, of course. Should I read them? Yeah. A substantial percentage of respondents agree or strongly agree that the town should have downloadable trail maps, outreach and educational materials, signs for short, web based information, and signage and markers along trails. We finally got signage right. through the trail. Well, remember. All right, yeah. That was at the end of the summarizing, and those were the questions that were severely, like almost hundred percent of the people were dissatisfied with the dissemination of information and the downloading of that. Maybe that's why he highlighted it in the summary. So we have to hear. Yeah, yeah. Um, that might be why a majority of the respondents agreed and strongly agreed that they were aware of state and municipal. Um, conservation and recreation areas within the township. However, nearly 50% of the respondents disagreed or strongly disagreed when asked if the town did a good job communicating about open space and recreation. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It is clear that the public are interested in outreach and education information, mm -hmm. specifically trail maps, and that they would like that information to be more easily accessible and downloadable and that they believe the town needs to do a better job of communicating the open space conservation and recreation information. So I agree with that. So this is something that could be part of our uh, goals and vision. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. I think, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it sounds yeah. like this is the premier goal. Right. It's really just outreach, education, making people know what's there and how they can do it. I think that that's very true. And I feel like everything else comes back to that too. Like there's a lot of survey responses about connectedness and things like that. That's really not just about making connections, but like making people aware of those connections. I think that that's in all aspects of our open society. For all the information, the dissemination is not going to smooth. Yeah. In, in any in any field, mm -hmm. not you know health anything. Yeah. And people are used to. Very easy because there are people that. If you read some of the written responses, which I get a kick out of, yeah. I like a lot of them. People see that the field behind Sherry Hill are town owned. Yeah, and they're they not. They think that the town meeting quote unquote meadows. And, and yeah. no, I, I, I think people don't know. Too, I think people don't know. Baseball, too, has, you know, people have commented about baseball fields, too. It's just like the Cherry Hill thing. It's like, you know, <laughs> did he figure this out? So I can say from the land use coordinator's seat that there is really not a delineation of the public perception about who owns what land. We have about uh, I'd like to talk about utilizing something on the conservation land that you guys have. We can't talk about the state land one way or another, or they'll not be clear. And even in communities that have open space, I'm and not yeah. I'm not clear. So. There, time right. So there was a map developed by open space um, of all the open space land broken down in categories that was put together for this part of this committee. 
for, for as, it was one of the big things that early on we're like we don't we know we need this we need a map of right. where all this so that got put together and including in that is, which one is that um, the comments on what what we actually use the field for yeah and like the sport field and like you know how tactile should be sports like my kids are in sports, and I expect to play, but taxpayers shouldn't be forced to play. And like, taxpayers don't want to play. Right. Like, um, yeah, that's the case. I'm like, what is that? I like, you just started pulling the school district to use their stuff. Yeah, right. I know. And that's this year, I'm going to push for us to charge them because they use our stuff. Yeah. I think you have to go to school. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so you don't really get much out of that. That's a whole other conversation. Last week, it was a topic of conversation. And, uh, yeah, you should watch it. The ball field, the um, yeah, the ball field. baseball mm -hmm. folks that use the spalding field for the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And we just, we're, um, Renegotiating the lease with Spalding. This was last yeah. week, September, uh, August. Last it was August 1st. Yeah, yeah. September 1st. Oh, well, of well, course, the, I can. If you want to know it, yeah. it was 9 7. I don't know if that's up yet. I have to take that. But um, so there's, there's the regional, so I'm talking about the school district. There's the regional agreement, which is how the regional schools work, how you get into the regional schools, how you get out, what buildings they own, and which the towns own. Mm -hmm. And for the buildings that are in Townsend, the only one that we, we the town, own is Spalding. Do we own the land under ACMS and Spalding? I think the land ours. I'm not so sure about that. Mm -hmm. Not from what I've seen. Um, so, but I can't, uh, that I didn't look for specifically, yeah. but it's the symbol or whatever. Yeah. Um, so now, in addition to the regional agreement, we now have to also renegotiate the lease between Spalding and the district mm -hmm. because Spalding. Is owned by the town, right? So, mm -hmm. um, Eric is working on the agreement. Mm -hmm. And in the meeting last week, we talked a lot about what we did. Mm -hmm. And one suggestion was to just cut that off the field off and just give you know, write the lease for the Spalding playground, mm -hmm. um, and the building mm -hmm. and not the rest of them, so that the town still has control. And then we oh, would have to do yeah. similar to what we do with you, but we can pay some the um, a lease agreement for the baseball baseball to use and softball to use that. Oh. So um, th those are ideas, but that lease is under negotiation, and a lot of these things haven't been changed in a very long time. But it our, was our structure were in release of mm -hmm. and it's just that the district didn't choose to implement them until three to five years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. It wasn't very long ago. Yeah, and all of a sudden the school district decided, oh, well, if you're going to use this, you're going to pay us for each field $20 an hour, mm -hmm. and for each hour, you're going to make your for hundred dollars What? Yeah. And you have minimum too. Yeah. yeah. They don't need mm -hmm. No, correct. And it's so. Not standard labor and budget. No, but there will be a thing. We pay for that. Yeah, we pay for that. That's it. And yeah. it, it has been. Mm -hmm. So something has to change. So watch that meeting. Yeah, I will. And it, it, it's in process. I'll find the seat for you to work here. I think you should have designed facilities. Like Broughton does, like surrounding towns do, where we have baseball fields and soccer fields. And what the two leagues lease it. I know saying it is easier than doing it, but at least for 10 years or 20 years, and let them build it, let them maintain it. And a 10 or a 20 year lease isn't by charter mm -hmm. allowed unless town meeting. Right. 
So we did a three year, you know, yep. a three year, three year, three year. And that's, I know Ashley like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Other towns are like that. And that's, that's okay. Um, but this is all, you know, it has to, it's the work session. I like to talk about yeah, what's going I'm, on. My, I have it, and so I told my son before, he's been home for the last few years, my last child, my other three are off, you know, adults. But, um, I have a very deep issue with the fact that we pay for school. I've seen their budget. I've been in the school. I know what they're doing. I've watched the movements and the public, the same public. And even even if we're not talking about the public without children, the public with children, whose children are allowed to be there and the school belongs to, I have a deep problem that those facilities and those Still are not useful, but without additional fees on top of the fees of all. I have, I have, I, I have, like, I have, like, I have, like, I have, like, deep seated angry because yeah, I didn't used to be like, I know we're not to stand there. And I'm shocked you can't tell this. And I talked to my other lady either than I can set the last regional that I want to be set with. You guys just eat it, I'm not going to eat it. This is not my I having no, having, having no access, no use for other public to our resources, our recreational and sports and academic resources in town without paying additionally. Well, well, what are your chances of that? Why did they take them away? Because they left. No, no. <laughs> it was just a lease from the beginning and no one ever uh, uh, paid attention to it. No one paid attention to it. I don't even know what happened to you agree. You gotta put that in there. You gotta put that in there. When you said these rules, yeah. but then you have found out, I have found out, and we have you start out. reading it, like, and your eyes go like this. Yeah. Somebody um, told me that, and I said, I, and I said, I think this is not true, but now you're, it is yeah. true. It is true. It's incomprehensible. I learned a lot because of summer camp mm -hmm. this year about how there are so many challenges to having oh, even locations to have summer camps where we have the because they can't use the school nights. But I don't for the kids, it was ridiculous. I think it, it seems like because it's a regional school district, it's not a part of town. That it's, they don't so Pepperell doesn't have the same issue. Pepperell doesn't have the same issue. Yeah, and it's all, yeah, it's not, it's not run by their schools, though. They're run by their recreation department. And they're cataloged and, you know, calendared and they're there. And that's And it's minimal compared to they're a mess. I was just there this week and I couldn't believe my eyes. A mess. You know, that's why we're trying to expand the photos so we can control it and have a better uh, yeah. field yeah. for fields. It's a, it's, um, I don't know where the money is. I don't know why. Well, you know, know where they're going to go for transfer. They cut some of the things. Where is that? You know, where they do it, what they get, what they cut, what they do with it. I don't know. They cut the services. Yesterday was my 10 days in the council resolution on some of the support pieces of transition. 10 years I've been trying to unravel some of this. 10 okay. years. <laughs> 10 years I've been trying to unravel some of this. Hmm. Ah, interesting. That's why I'm going to have to step out for some of that. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> no, this does play into our plan. Oh, no, very much. Yeah. It does. Open space and recreation. I love how much we're actually covering recreation. Currently, we have this issue with the schools and their fields. We have a, the town itself owes a lot of money. Why don't we stop dicking around with the schools and what well, actually we need the land? Um, don't <laughs> our, our large parcel. What, what is the largest parcel of town owned land that we can own? The parcel between the town garage and the old meeting house. Between the town garage and old meeting house. Uh, yeah, the old meeting house parcel. Oh, old meeting house parcel. Yeah, isn't yeah. there another parcel up there? Uh, that's owned by the Loom Trust. There's 20 acres in the young area. So that's, that's the um, other piece of it. There's a lot of land that isn't actually owned by the town building. 
schools. But there are some large-ish parcels mm -hmm. in town. Uh, so there is yeah, exactly. a large well, parcel. Like confirmation that we own in Kimberly Park. So there's yeah, a. They were all like this. Or, oh, little cut off. Yeah. 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 There is there is a large <laughs> parcel. <laughs> no, there is a large yeah. parcel yeah. behind the highway. Department mm -hmm. behind the highway department of town on the land. Behind the highway department going the uh, that abuts the cemetery. There's a large parcel behind highway behind, um, cemetery that's behind Lord and Oil. Um, yes, they went yeah, on Highland Yeah, it has some access. Yeah, there was yeah. actually a, yeah. uh, there was a proposed roadway that was going to connect. That's Highland, right? That's yeah. right there with the cemetery on it. That's mm -hmm. a, there was there was a roadway that was proposed, an access roadway from there down to the highway department. Because originally the highway department was going to have access to Highland Ave. Yeah. Um, so there's a right of way on the property for that, um, which behind is still. Oregon? No, behind Lorton. So there's. there is yeah, where is on that little strip? Uh, next to Lorton. So, yeah. so that yeah. large so, parcel has two pieces of frontage that are not big enough to be considered a buildable lot, but they are basically uh, uh -huh. driveway. Oh, so, so 60 feet. Um, and Roger's actually been trying to see if there's any way that he could use it for um, uh, expansion of the cemetery. Mm -hmm. So that's already. Oh my God. So maybe part of this plan oh could really goodness. could address the uh, fact that we don't we we need to be looking more <clears throat> strategically at purchasing random machines. You know, we'll be next to that. Yeah. There are there are. Oh, it's called cemetery fields. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, and it's exactly what um, no. is. we play sports down there for years, play soccer, across, whatever, even baseball. Now it's turned into a cemetery. That was over 20 years. Oh, yeah. Designated to be a cemetery. Right. It's not like just so a headstone for now. Roger needs more room for burials. <clears throat> is that something that works together? Yeah, because yeah, he's not work. proposing using all of it. His so that area, uh, that it's a So what Roger is proposing that you, know, you mean Dudley Road, that, Dudley Road that, that the parcel that was just transferred to the affordable housing trust, the 12 acres? The flat area next to the cemetery? You know what, 12 acres would oh, yeah. be plenty of room for oh. recreation to have a building and a field. No, it would, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I get your word in there. Well, there's enough. Like, there's enough. I can't get on the screen. I don't know. 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 Because it's absolutely the downtown building. Uh, the downtown building. Yeah, we have to charge the We already charge the taxes. We already go to that. You don't need to charge the taxes. It's in the budget. I thought when I was at it. So why are you charging me again? It's an issue. It's an issue. I have a thing. I think you need to answer the rule. But I will say, like looking looking at the property, like properties and stuff like that, you're right. You don't have any large parcels of this, like like to build a sports complex, right? Like we don't. Um, uh, but that's what I'm saying. We don't need that. Like we don't need. You don't need twelve. I mean, twelve would be more than enough to build what we need. But well, it also depends on proximity. We have not purchased Well, you know, the 
no touch, the 35 foot, and then you have the 100 foot buffer. So we could, but you know, we have to that that parcel. Wait, the 35 is no touch. Right. And then you get the 100 feet. Right. But you can work with, with the 100 feet, feet yeah. yeah. Especially if you're a good engineer or know someone in conservation. <laughs> so, but, what, what about that tasing? How much is we are going on? That's 20 acres, but National Heritage. So, the town owns it. Oh. National Heritage. Because it's a. Um, and we've already gone through the motions of figuring out where that we can develop on the property. Mm -hmm. And it still limits our development. Mm -hmm. But that parcel is 20 acres, and I think we have developed six acres for 160,000. For 130,000. I'm going to pull it up. Do you want to do another reply? So, just for my, because I'm, I'm less versed on this, how many acres would we need? For this kind of idea, if there's just mm -hmm. a I, 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 I want to wreck I don't agree with it. I find it's only so like, Max is the cross, right? So we go to all these different towns and we go far afield, like we're way out. Right. So you and I get to see all these towns, and some of them smaller than us with like 4,000 people, and some of them, you know, five times our size with sports complexes. There's a rec building, there's a couple of fields, they've got a truck that you go around, and there's a consignment or a concession oh, stand, right. and it's an actual recreation complex. Now, the job that I turned down as a rec director for Sterling came with the plan for a $5 million recreation complex that included a building, and they were going to have two different types of fields. I don't know exactly what they were trying to do, but there was going to be fields. There was going to be um, basketball court, volleyball court, kitchen in it. Like so it was like a whole that concession, um, concession and what they call it, concession and bathhouse. So yeah. It was like the bathroom yeah. changing <laughs> and concession yeah. all in one large. So we do one time with Curtis or we do three times. I could, well, Sterling was like that. Oh yeah, that was one of the ranks. And yeah. was it? Uh, yeah, well, what, what, why are we on? Why did we? Uh, Oh, this is Mr. Mapper. So this town parcel here is 18 acres, and it's just currently woodland. Um, it is. So this is the cemetery right here. We can. We're gonna. I'm sorry if you're watching the recording. We're on the road. Um, I thought there was a development right there. Oh no, that's down the street. Side. Ah, come on, click. There we go. This is. Okay, okay yeah. so which ones of those? Do so, we own? so this is the cemetery and parks right here, or the cemetery. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Cemetery that's down there. Right? This large parcel here is 18 acres owned by the town. I think it's wet. Uh, there is a lot of wetlands out there, but then there, there's some non wetlands out there too. So that is 51107. Is that the um, cemetery? Go to your left. This is the cemetery. Yes. That's the yes. cemetery. Yes. That's okay. the cemetery. This is the highway down here, highway department. So, um, parcel 48, 24.7 acres. Uh, this one? Um, yeah, that's the highway department. This is highway department. Mm -hmm. Sorry, the fact that you know numbers off the top of your head is almost terrifying. Oh, I'm looking. I have oh. up the assessor. All right, map. so this, yeah, this is the highway 24.7. Mm -hmm. And then this back land here, and I'm not necessarily recommending this, this just exists. Acres. This is the 18 acres. Um, and it does have two access ways. The biggest one is right here, which is Lordham. Yeah, there is actually a roadway that was cleared that leads down. Um, there's and no I've walked on it. Yeah, it's a really nice walking area. Been, so from there's the like a hundred trees that have fallen on right. it, but there's no there's but um, Roger has been proposing and we've been doing some conversations um, having this area was assessed for soil map and the soil conditions were not suitable for a full cemetery because the sand it's too sandy to have mm -hmm. you know normal normal well not just drainage but also <laughs> if you dug a traditional um, Gravesite there, it would all collapse on it. Oh, so but he's he's exploring the idea of having a um, what's it called uh, a cremation park because that would be a much smaller facility, and then it could be kind of a wooded park-like setting that could then. But that even then, he's proposing an area here, but this right here is super wet. There's a huge yeah, wetlands right there. Right. Yeah. yeah, so he would you know you'd have to have access through this roadway. Okay, and here's one of the things that are unpopular again. Please do not think I'm not concerned about our dead people. Could I? No, that's fair. 
However, but there are other large parcels in town that okay. the town is taking through tax seeking that are non not oh, anymore. They used to, but they don't. It's generationally we stopped doing that. They did at one time. Yeah, it used to be a thing. You used to bring your like pin tape, pick the blankets, and sit and like that. That was a thing. Can you? Can you? Yeah. They're all looking at my face now on the camera. I'm sorry. That was a thing, but I'm saying it. It. it I think I just feel like Actually, when we put the plants, I'm gonna go get them out. What we want. What we want to look to towards the future. So that when we're making decisions going forward, leasing or buying or developing, that we have this overview that says we are all pointing to this top part of the triangle, mm -hmm. and we need to stop spending money on this and spending money on this, or or ignoring this or ignoring this. We have to address these specific issues because this is the point. This is where we want to come to. So that's yeah, that's exactly what an open space plan would come mm -hmm. for, saying we need to prioritize a we single about it. large parcel. If we wanted to do that, like the single large parcel for this recreational complex, let's say for example, that's what it was, we don't have to have it like that. Parcels come up and go down all the time, constantly, like the assessors have a huge list of parcels right now that have been taking tax titles and takings that are all over town, some of which are very small, some of which are very large. But it's, if you say it's a priority, then you can work on it. Right. And I think that that was pretty the, rail, the yeah. railways and the trails, those are obviously a huge priority. But if the state owns the land, why are we going to put money on it? Oh, no, 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 it's the state. Yeah. Of, no, 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 not the state. Yeah. <laughs> Are you being facetious? No, it's more like when I say more money, but the trail models, DCR will come, you know, they have a map of their trails with conditions. Not for our trails, they would for yeah, trail well, no, not for, for a DCR. Or, right, for a DCR. Yeah, but that's DCR and prices. Right. Fish and wild, fish and wild. Yeah. You can't put trails on fish and wild. Well, yeah, then it would be DCR. Um, the DCR. Um, but that's what I'm saying. We already, have, we already have an avenue to address those. Those. So who owns all the land? But what the state entity owns the land along the way and go on up part of the hill? That's DCR. So what's DCR? Department of Conservation and Recreation. But do you have that? It's all right. They don't together. 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 They do and it's Department of Conservation and Recreation. I don't think they should be there. But they they can work, they can work cohesively. Again, if there's a if there's a decision for that plan. That plan. Plan. Well, I think after listening to Jeff, which of course you might say, and hearing recreation is huge in this I I still believe that I thought we had used the well, that, that should be one of our priorities. Right. But I believe water should be a priority. Oh, absolutely. Okay. No, we're not. Okay. Yeah, that's that's. I, but I have a feeling that's the Thank you. Because I think as you move forward, people are going to be more and more and more recreation. Oh, yeah. They are. I mean, I'd rather see you spend five million dollars on a recreation center than ninety-five million on a school. It's probably going to be closed because of all the stuff going on. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's all about getting people involved. Get it. So that's the toughest thing I find. So I try to recruit people. Mm -hmm. Getting the money. Yeah. Oh, I don't have time. Well, I don't have time either. Or make it a person thing. Drop by for a break. Drop by for a Yeah, you have to interact on a real personal level. And that's hard to find that time, but I think that's the only way. Well, it's probably there. There was a. um I feel like there was. There was. Like a. I kind of feel like it, I think, comes from a certain area, but there's like this, this um, circle that I need to work and do not, that it is. And it's down, but that's like, that's just a, so that, 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 that you can't have, have a, you can't have a recognition community. The whole, the whole thing of recognition is community coming together and mm -hmm. being open mm -hmm. and having access. Okay, so you can't circle your wagons. If you have to move the wagons. So then this real thing has really, it's an amazing. I mean, like, 
Veronica said, this really did start in the 80s. And then we see this back pushback in the 80s. People were like laying on their ground. Okay, so here's the thing though. Your feet. We had a lot of things we did not want it. Really? He moved his fence and he was excited when I took him for a ride down that. I know a lot of people on that strip were against it, to be in the place. Right. So here's what happened though. The pandemic hit and everybody realized, oh, guess what? I do have to get outside and get the I think that's oh, vitamin D is good for you. It was like and I think it was also, you know, um you couldn't do anything else. Right. Yeah, I have a friend who's from Chicago, the marathon next month. And he's literally been doing his own game on our rail trail here, back and forth, mm -hmm. 70 miles, 20 miles on it. Because it's, it's the, pack, the, the pack is uh, awesome. Training for the triathlon. Back and forth. Back and forth. Mm -hmm. That must have cut boring. No, and you put the water at one end and have your vehicle at the other. And like, it's, yeah. you know, it's, yeah, it's that is kind of nice. And so whatever, I mean, you can tell you the current cost of however you guys did it. Even though when you're coming, you got to do something, it actually feels like you're going up. It feels like you're running up. I'm down all the time. Oh, then you're not really. Yeah, it's really fantastic. It's really fantastic. But it's a great moment. It was then 88, so the material is 88, but it's like right. this. That's an eye opener with people. I don't know what they did. Change their mind for what they did. I don't know. But I think COVID, that's a, you can't afford to lose that momentum for, from the a big thing that happened post COVID is yeah. people are now looking for the things that they want in their mm -hmm. life to be within their community. Mm -hmm. It's no longer, oh, I don't mind if I have to go to Boston or Air or something to find what he wants. It's, Wait a minute. No, I'm, I want a home with the things that I want in my home. I want an office in my home. I want a better quality of life at home. And then I also want my community to have everything I want within my community, which is why we're getting oh, so I many change and requests for things in town. The other thing is what we have. Is in such horrible condition. Like I went by that well, the house on the book thing is horrible. Mm -hmm. That school district where that's what I mm -hmm. That's how much that's good. Most of the school and uh, I looked at any of that piece cool. of land under the elementary school is or not elementary uh, school by the library that not the library. The so schools there are I mean, are with owned by the um, district, not by the town. Yeah. Yeah. When I got the land, when I got the land right behind where the big pipe was, I thought that was actually with the big boulder. That was the front face of the boulder. That green space? Yeah. I thought that was town and I think not not split. I'm pretty sure. At least by the place on the yeah, I'm not certain. Uh, what Craven? Yeah. yeah, they've all they've been doing all the work on that. Yeah, they have. Right. That's what they have. Correct. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So can we move on to Q16? Yeah, what Q16? Given how do we find that? <laughs> a majority of the respondents of respondents agree and strongly agree that the maintenance of existing town so there's the schools mm -hmm. there's the parcel yeah. yeah so this is town. Town. yes donated funds Nine. this area is town. it is okay that's what i thought yeah i thought that section yeah. that yeah that it's got the septic field too right. to, yeah to that's what i thought Town hired seasonal workers. I wasn't sure. That's why we and annual conservation fund. 54%. But I'm not so sure the conservation fund can be used for maintenance. Um, um, there, right. there are specific purposes. For there, that there are certain provisions allowing certain types of maintenance. So, like, for example, if there was a hazard on the property, let's say someone left. A refrigerator with a bunch of chemicals on it in the middle of a conservation property, you could immediately, you'd have to immediately remove it. You could use the fund to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but in general, it's probably not a good idea to think the conservation land fund can support, say, staff, maybe mm -hmm. staff. Um, and, uh, it also would get empty pretty fast. You know, like the staff to build. I know Brian Earth is BAM, out of BAM, but mm -hmm. you know that. That was, uh, yeah, that was sort of out outside the box. Keeping in mind, they're not, it's the town that, again, it's 
some point or another. I don't know why or how it happened, but it we are the only time I've come across that in cemetery and parks. So in actuality, that is a part of their department. It's not recreation department. It should oh, be, yeah. but for whatever reason, the cemetery ended up being in charge of recreational parks and recreational activities yeah. in town. Don't know how, don't know why, don't know when, but so that actually is a part of their time and should be because according to what they are as a department. So I know that Roger would love to do Roger is wonderful. park maintenance if he had I, the budget I, for it. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, I know. And he is a huge help to us. But that's what I'm saying. Maybe that shouldn't be something that they should have to do. Because they the have part you're saying? Yeah. So, I mean, you think conservation and recreation don't necessarily, but cemetery and recreation, that's a little weird. Do you think I'm you should on recreation? Well, just to help with background, the cemetery oh, and parks has a has its own committee. Right. No, I know. A, a, oh, a, I know. There, the cemetery and parks committee is a oh, separate voting. kind of entity that we we not on the board. we're not going to no. let's. No. There's no way of splitting that. It's basically yeah. just yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a lot of work. Don't even know how that how it like at some point it came together, but it's been the focus has always been on the cemetery portion of it. There is a lot of focus on the cemetery, but he also they also mow and maintain oh, yeah. a lot of other things. Yeah, they keep, but in like that's, that's not recreation of the, the park. Like that's they not, they not recreational. Yes, but they do tons. They, they work. They are, I don't know how they do it. I don't either. Yeah, they, they do. Work, they are. They are the reason that Howard Park has trails, and most other lands don't have any. Trails. They work like dogs. So. Like they're. I was at a Howard Park earlier. They're amazing. It's remarkable how they yeah. condition it is. Yeah. They do. So. Yeah, they do. I just feel like that's a lot on them still. Like that's and if it, we want, definitely if we, want, if we want to put, but that's what I'm saying. If this is one of our goals, then we have to figure out a way. Cemetery and parks is going to have to be a part and parcel of this. If they're parks, then they're going to have to be a part of this plan that we're creating to make re our parks recreational. Yes, and a part of the community. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They can't. They can't just be like. It can't be cemetery focused. We have to make that parks part be part of this plan yeah. as well. Right, like that's like I'm saying, they're on there putting the two together. That area in the back that he's looking towards, like, I'm like what is there a way to meld those two? Yeah, forces. So, you so know what I mean? And, and you know, and, and I don't know whether or not that particular parcel is the perfect parcel. Yeah, I mean, for your purposes, but but it's something like to look at. Getting an idea of saying we we need if the priority of saying we need a town-owned parcel mm -hmm. for a recreational complex. For example, let's just if that was a thing we wanted to do, you could just say that's a priority. And there might, you know, so the background work would be like a feasibility of like, okay, well, how many acres would that actually need to be? Are we talking about five acres or 15 acres? Just a range. That would be the next step. After you have that could be, the but constantly properties come in and out of the town through tax taking. There's a bunch of large parcels taking right now. You know how big they are and where some they are? Of them, yeah, I know where some of them are. I know the biggest one, it, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're super close to town right. and things like that. But yeah, but if we, but, have to, if we yeah. decide to, if we decide to put in a heavy one hit man for our recreation complex and you know, park facility for our community, cemetery parks need to be a part of that. There's job yeah, as part of it. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not downing cemetery. Oh, yeah. You're, I'm trying to say we need to support them. We need to empower them to do what they're already doing. When we hand this over right. and there was no plan, and then there was a plan that was brought up at the meetings. So it's it's a great point. Yeah, so the open space plan says we need a large parcel for recreational complex. Let's explore that. And then the implementation side of it is our well, obviously that would be cemetery and parks. How do we work with them to support that? And whether it's land use helps secure yeah. grants to do a feasibility. Where are the two private organizations that use yeah. it for free? Where does the cross play? The cross plays mostly in Pepe Hall because we can't use our own lacrosse fields here. We can't use them. So they drag them into it. Three private entities, let them maintain, let them create a board of directors and then maintain. Um, maintain it, and then you take the burden off the town uh, of maintaining it. You know, we have a beautiful area in senior center that we're graciously donated. You know, we could always discuss that route or try to go against that route. And you know, if we were 
is we have those beautiful sweet facilities. And I we need to I got my own you know at the old library that they, yeah, they yeah. were grown and out of college by the time the library is beautiful. It's yeah. beautiful. Oh my god. And I would have loved it. Right, I have a mouse on this now. I don't know about that. But we have you know grants. We've all we've done a great job getting the right last few years. We have. So, we have. We have. So, you know, there's the community foundation that and they have grants available. They have funds. Oh, yeah. And work on the rivers. We've talked about that. That's yep. We're running is my first focus. Real like running is first, and then I want to do biking and kayaking. But that's that talk about the water. Yeah. Right. Just for people's reference, there's another there's another large parcel that the town currently owns. This is Warren Road, right by the south side of town. Yeah. This is a parcel that was taken by tax taking. It's actually being uh, considered to be put up for auction. Oh gosh, this is so awkward to do. Right? I know. You come around the other side. I'm trying, oh, I'm trying oh, yeah. not to make everyone on the home staring at my head. Oh, deep pocket. Oh, I get it. I'm so uh, I lost it. Here we go. So this. Yeah, I, I this is an 11 acre parcel by the town taken by tax taking. That's it's serious. not considered a buildable parcel because it doesn't have the adequate frontage, mm -hmm. but I guess it is good quality it. for being built upon. So it'd be perfect for say, it's, it's one of the things we have a lot of people asking about it for say subdivision. Well, you know, so this is uh, off of Warren Road. So south end of town. Where was it? How many acres? 11. Seven. So it's way out of, it's not, central located to town that doesn't matter but so that point. even so this is just a good example of like the town gets parcels like this and they go through the towns and properties committees but the towns and properties committees reviews what our priorities are in the community right now and you know it's conservation wanted or this and that they make some recommendations so this is one parcel that they're going to be putting forward in the next few months probably even the next few weeks it's like here's a couple of parcels we'd like to consider moving like selling off at auction mm -hmm. does anyone want to be involved and in, does anyone feel like they want to gain this resource before we do that and they'd ask the conservation commission for example i know i know i told them that <laughs> they say they so they would typically then send out communications so they would send out communications saying is, is there anyone who could have this referral to see if we want to if anyone would have any use for this parcel Conservation Commission, we it's just always the one we pick on because we'll send it to them. Yeah, they'll 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 send. No one else in the world does. So this this is so if people so this guy didn't pay his taxes. Yeah, we placed a lien on the property. He has a certain amount of time to pay it back, and if he doesn't, um, the parcel is taken by tax. So you don't have a tax sale. You don't do tax sales here. There would be a tax sale. So the process is it has to come to this to us. Okay. We do a review and see if the parcel has value for one reason or another. We ask their referrals to all the people to let them know, hey, what are you working on? Is this fitting with this and that? Is this a high conservation property? It's easy. I use conservation because it's a good, easy no, one to pick on. Yeah. So, They're not going to want it. This is after it's gone through all yes. the notification yeah, yeah. and it's gone oh, through yeah. the, and no one bought yes. it. It's just a dead piece. So, okay. well, I, it hasn't gone in public auction. So that's the other piece of this is oh, Townsend okay. has not released, has not Sold off or had a land it auction. Went through the state process, mm -hmm. I thought was what Mary Jane. Yeah, was the state about. and then the state tax taking process. It's a whole process that well, this takes is, years. This is not the state. This is town owned land. Now it is. But yes. it was not prior to that. Yes. Someone owned it. And and they had back yeah. taxes. Yes. So there and is a process yes. that yes. by yes. law has to there's be. There's a whole process that takes it to where it is now. And then there's still even and a whole process from now to where it's next. And the owner has the ability to to, to redeem, to redeem. It, it, within that within that process. Yes. Okay. And so these that he's talking about are those that have gone through the entire back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And, and, and now they are town. Redemption's gone. And, and they have yeah. landed in the town. Yeah. Yes. And they're sometimes big parcels, sometimes parcels of residents, and sometimes small. We have one condo that the town owns because it was taken by tax taken. And we're trying to get rid of it um, because the, the person who owns the building is like, well, you should pay condo fees for this yeah. condo you yeah. own. 
because he's like, I'm not getting anything for it. Um, so oh. like, we get we get all the manner of things. And it's just this the history of this parcel um, was that this parcel was owned was part of a larger parcel, mm -hmm. and the owner subdivided it, mm -hmm. um, trying to create two parcels. And he was told that he was not putting adequate frontage on this particular parcel because it actually has a small house on it. And he said, No, 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 it's fine. And so it was like, well, we're like, you really shouldn't. And so he said, nope, this is what I want. Fill out all the forms. And then got to the end of it and found out that his parcel, like everyone had told him, now had less than the 200 feet minimum required frontage in order to have a buildable lot. So in, in Townsend's code for this particular district, you need to have a 200 feet of roadway frontage in order to have a residential lot built. Wow. Oh, because it's three. Oh, that's everywhere. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, there's two acres, three acres. Two acres, three acres. There's so there's feet on the road. There's frontage requirements. There's acreage requirements. You can have frontage on multiple roadways if you're on a corner. Like this. You're going to put a building on it. Yes. It's considered buildable versus non-buildable. So resident. We're not just residents, but for other, so like, for different types of uses, there's a different requirements. So like you need more than 200 feet if you wanted to put some other type a of recreation use. center. Well, that's, so that's different. Municipal uses have different requirements for zoning. So for example, uh, like we just recently discovered that a lot of water facilities are actually exempt from those types of zoning hmm. um, because we're just doing some fact finding on things like that. And so like it's, some of its zoning is by town zoning. Some of it's by state zoning, mm -hmm. state requirements for certain types of zoning. This that's interesting. So yeah. this parcel, for example, could it be could it be used for recreational fields? Could it, you have a building in front? I don't know if it have a building in a bathhouse. I don't know. So the more uses you get. But the point being that if what? that's an established goal, then whoever works on that committee for that established goal would figure out the land, look at the parcels, yeah. do that. Legwork. So right now, if the Townsend Properties Committee had an open space plan that said we need to prioritize preservation of a single parcel that is 10 acres or more in size, mm -hmm. then they'd say, hold on, we just found it. And they say, great, let's see if we can, let's figure out what's necessary to move in to make it that goal. But they don't have any document right now that tells them that's a priority because that wasn't in a previous open space plan. Correct. So they haven't yeah. said, oh, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Now that being said, we could go and say, hey, we want this. But right. then they have to then evaluate. But ultimately, they make a recommendation mm -hmm. that goes to the treasurer collector and the board of selectmen is involved right. in the process. There's don't give, yeah. There's a whole municipal process. But if no the one point knows, being this inventory, goal. you're saying that this potential inventory yeah. will meet that goal in the next seven years. Sure, sure. And it doesn't mean, and it doesn't even have to be land that we purchased. It could be just land that we get. Yeah. The the turnaround though is if it's say for example kept in municipal properties. We're not getting revenue for the sale. Oh, no, I We're totally not getting tax revenue. Yeah. So it's why it's worth talking about. Right, but but it wouldn't it wouldn't be bringing in revenue if it went to the recreation park. No, because it would still be municipally. If it went to cemetery and parks, for example, or recreation yeah. or where yeah. it went, it would still be under municipal. I guess water. that's the, the double edged sword. Um, of, yeah. of the but that's not the, and we're, you know, the exactly. money on the rolls. Yeah, because I understand there's a lot. That's the problem. Yes. Yeah. So, um, there are lists of all the different town-owned lands and who owns them in town. Most of them I put together myself. That's the rules of the sermon. Uh, well, there was there was versions of it, but breaking it down into different uses for different purposes. So this is my list that I use for right now that doesn't include tax tax taken land because this was designed around land that I would have to be involved in, in terms of like say open space land, water land, conservation land, cemetery and parks land. Um, and even, and these lists constantly get updated for accuracy. So town open yeah, space. For a resource for whoever's on that committee. What, this? Subcommittee, yeah. Uh, no, they, this is my list. This is my, I got tired of not knowing the answers, so I started building lists. Oh. <laughs> uh, but like state of spreadsheet. I love a good spreadsheet. It's so nice to be able to like, oh, it's just like town and land. I just sorted this when we sat here by acreage to see what the largest ones and said, oh, look, we have 16 properties that are over 10 acres. Is the, could any of those? Many of these are under the CONSCOM. Some of them are under cemetery and parks. Um, some of them, Interesting. you know, most of them don't have addresses because um, a lot of them are connected with, say, Old Meeting House Park, those are not going to be turned into anything no, um, specific. Right. That's the one trust, isn't it? No, Old Meeting House is owned by um, 
Conservation yeah. Commission, and it was purchased with a park grant. Yeah. So there are guidelines that go with that. So the largest yeah. parcel is a CONSCOM parcel that's 57 acres. There you go. Did you, did Which one? Is? Where is it? Uh, that's off Ponderosa Drive. Uh, it is parcel 53D990. Yep. I can pretty much guarantee. And a lot of the CONSCOM lands are Conservation Commission lands because they're so wet, there's very little that can get done. Right. Uh, so anyway, can we go back to yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, question yeah. 16? Sure. So okay. they want maintenance of existing town-owned open space at Sully to be through grants, donated funds, school yeah. groups, volunteers, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. um, they don't want any tax money. Is only 21% agree they strongly agree that taxes should be a means for accomplishing the maintenance of existing open space and recreation. With 48% of respondents disagreeing, but then let's go down to question 21. Respondents indicate that a majority of the respondents may occasionally or rarely, a majority of the respondents may occasionally or rarely assist with volunteer maintenance mm -hmm. work. Or a commitment yeah. for the maintenance and development of towns and recreation and open space facilities. However, few would participate often, and some would never participate or don't know if they would. We'll be, we'll be the first to call you when they're the free to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Respondents were less likely to be willing to participate in a committee to manage open space mm -hmm. than to volunteer their time towards volunteering. It's incredible. We do so have, it's kind of like we, yeah, do we have, don't want to pay money. We want this stuff. We want this stuff. Want no, but money. we want yes. but someone else to do it. Yeah. They, they, and we don't want to pay They money. seem to think that grants just fall into your lap. Nobody is staffed. Nobody has to be staffed or trained or know what they're doing in order to get a grant. We can just follow them into our, and then boop, now you have all this money. There's no work that goes into it, really. We just have all this grants. Yeah, we, we can just get, get it. We just get it. Just, and then we maintain things. We and we just maintain it. Well, you can't get the record. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. Like, they just think they'll please get blown off the rail trail every fall and every spring. They just disappear one day. Don't they? Magic. But that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. the, the, the vision of... You, that I don't know what you said. Maybe we put no, that towards no. this whole like oh. education and um I read it here. Oh, aware, awareness of opportunities, recreational mm -hmm. location facilities. Mm -hmm. And we need to develop a program to make this information readily mm -hmm. so, so I know how this actually is happening. There have been a lot of people who have actually reached out asking if they could volunteer to help with trail work. Trail work is something that is something that has been is something that generally speaking you can get a higher in public involvement because it's fun. Yeah, in some yeah, cases, yeah. to have people walk on. Yeah. I mean, and most of it is, I walked on a trail, I cleared anything that was hand-sized off, and I come back and tell you if there's anything larger than that you need a tool to do. That is a huge amount of staff time you can just figure that baseline out. Now, Townsend doesn't hasn't had a program for volunteers besides the senior work-off program, but I recently worked with Adam to get a waiver for volunteers to do this kind of stuff. We've been doing research in what it is involved in getting volunteers in, but even just saying, oh, for, for what? Uh, liability waiver for volunteers to do work, because we didn't have one in town previously. Right. Um, but even then, that requires staff time and resources to, to delineate, and you can't say, go work on a trail if there's no trail to work off of. Like establishment of new trails, not something you want to have a bunch of volunteers go do. You want to have someone make a plan and do it. And so you still need to coordinate that. Now, regarding the funding piece, one of the types of money that are not tax money that the town has that we could, in the open space plan, say we would like a certain amount of money for this type of use. So, for example, one of the things that the town gets money from, like we get pilot revenues from state-owned land. But uh, they go into the general fund and they are used to, so if we were to redirect, oh, yeah, you know, that, so there's no, it's not as easy as there's, saying we're going to do the pilot, you know, there's no, people, there's no amount of money that isn't being I mean, spent you know, for a good use in town. The money missing from your general oh, fund. And oh, right. You're gonna I mean, do it's what you were doing earlier this year. Right. It's the same. <laughs> no, I mean, I could, I could fund open space, 
through out without using taxes, but then the other things that we do anyway still need to get funded, and so that comes from taxes. Which is why community preservation is important. It's a small piece, mm -hmm. but in any event, um, it's just like saying, okay, so we all pay excise tax for our cars. That should go to paving the roads because that was the intent. Absolutely. But it doesn't. It mm -hmm. goes into the general fund. No. And now we're using, so, and all that general fund funds the stuff that people say they can't see that they are taking our taxes away, you know, and not yeah. using them properly. But our streetlights are on, our roads get plowed, our, you know, so right. uh, mm -hmm. that all right. happens. Right. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Uh, one of these days it'd be anyway. funny to see if everything just all town services turned off for a week because then people would get a healthy appreciation of what those services are because they're so they're so during a snowstorm. They're so, they're so <laughs> baseline. They're so fundamental. It's like down here with pitchforks and torches. Oh, yeah. You know, it's it's that idea of of your trash you, know, you can't you can't ever ask a fish what the ocean is like because they have no idea. Yeah. It's so ubiquitous to them. Um so yeah, no, it's a thing. So there are there is huge amount, seven hundred thousand, something so like that. So that is so do a heck of a job. Well they do, but it's a huge amount of money. Oh no, I'm not yeah. And in other places you got you, you contract. So, I have a lot of friends in New Hampshire. Yeah. 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 So again, family share the so open space, space plan things. doesn't need to necessarily figure out all the logistics yeah. that yeah. we are talking about. You can say we need to have vision. we need to have uh, a second full time person at Cemetery and Parks that just focuses on recreation. We don't have to say how that happens. We don't have to say we want it to be fun and not We don't have to make it work, which is one of the nice things. I think why I, when I said this a lot when I was doing recruitment for open space, I'm like, this is a really easy gig because you just get to say what you like. Uh, no, that's the truth. You don't have to come up with all of it. Uh, is do you want to sit on the planning board for a couple of meetings and learn what the hard gigs are? Like? <laughs> um, oh my god. Um, we got openings. No, no, no. Um, so there, you know, it's, it's, you can set priorities, but uh, um, you have to start somewhere and start somewhere by saying like, this is what the townspeople want and we need to figure out a way to do it. And even if we come back six years later and say, you know what, there is no way to have these things that we want as a priority without taxes, then we come and we can make the survey then say, do you never want this or do you want this by taxes? This is a binary choice. There's no other way out of this. Like, and it's a hard pill to swallow, but then you would actually get another iteration of like, okay, I do want this enough. You know, on top of it, things that they want that they're not aware of that we're already in the process of. Yeah. That's and that goes back to that education and awareness. Yeah. Like they don't yeah, I, I like they that. don't even know. I got some very upsetting calls about putting in bike lanes. Like they showed up overnight. Like we it, it was in process for a year. Yeah. There was public Facebook videos. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They saw the course and they changed and they, the visual. Right. The so visual. Yeah. so I I do agree when, when I'm looking at this that we have to find a better way to make this information available. We but need it, a better way. It it's been on the website. I know. It's been but you know what? It, but people don't look for it. So the you know what? I will they're the only ones that have this problem. No, we're not. Yeah, no, this is not a new problem. Sterling, what did they do? What does Groton do? What's the problem through this process? In a lot of in a lot of communities, a very successful way to have a public perception as a positive thing is through specific programs. So, like I, I mentioned, the volunteer trails. So, having a trail system that everyone can just download on their map on their phone that is maintained by volunteers suddenly, like, oh. These parcels that we have in town loan, I now see the value because I get to utilize them. Volunteer organizations like that are great because they then engage people and give people a sense of ownership of the property because I get to go out and do the trail maintenance on this. And this is my trail I get to work on. And this is but getting you know, it. That's the issue. You're yeah. Talking. So it's 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 the current course. You have these people that want the world and they don't want to pay for it, but they don't understand the process of it. But you're um, outdoor gym that you've been working on. Mm -hmm. That's no more. Is well, that no be... more? Yeah. Okay, what? Yeah, what? But, no, but, but they're going to build it in Chelmsford. Wait, you got to, you, we got to, yeah. Well, as a taxpayer, oh, in this town, I'm willing to pay more in taxes 
for more facilities. I am too. I think I think people want to pay for a return on their investment, and that's true. Really I agree. Mean, I mean, but, but here's the thing: and, and you don't see returns in the building tax unless you can physically see something. Yes. It, also, incidentally, taxes went down the last two years in Townsend. Well, I don't know because I've never yeah. seen it in the tax. That's yeah. not by rates, but everyone's property value went up. So yeah, well, that's going to change. Taxes. No, yeah. we're we're in the middle of the road in Townsend. Um, but. So here's what happened. Oh, you're not wrong. This oh. this summer, oh, my husband, here. myself, my son, a couple of our friends, and, and, and an additional 80 people all did this nightlight parade down the natural river. You bring your kayaks or your canoes, anything that is man-powered, not motor powered, and you light them up with you know, blinky lights yeah, and with you yeah. decorate them all. It, yeah. And it's literally at nighttime down the Nashville River. You all put in, and people are playing music and everybody's lining and all the lights are blinking and you go down and you circle around and you come back and do that. And you know what everybody does afterwards? They go to downtown Nashville and they spend their money. Mm -hmm. and right. Since then, since we've seen how easy yeah. it is for us to access it with our son, we've gone back dozens of times and we always go downtown Nashua mm -hmm. and wander around in the shops and we spend money and we go out to eat and yeah, drop we have nine dollars. Dollars. But we don't. See, yeah. That's what I'm saying. We don't do anything like that here. There's, there's, no, there's no commerce. Why oh, does that name sound familiar? Because mm -hmm. oh, there's, there's no demand. No more on Sears. So there are. Ronnie so we. Yeah. Have you met Ronnie yet? I have had some conversations with Ronnie. I know they're quite long. <laughs> he loves to talk. He was telling me uh, um, there are these these or go to destinations for mountain biking. Mm -hmm. Vermont. And you know, we have Burke you know, Mountain. DC we have DCR land. Mm -hmm. There's tons of it. Mm -hmm. We already have logging roads. Mm -hmm. You know, we promote that, but then you have the rail trail. So it's you got something we yep. So that, that, the New England Mountain Bike Association. That's uh, so that's one of the. I'm trying to get Ron, Ronnie for those guys. I'm trying to get to volunteer for this stuff. He's like, I don't have the time. Well, oh, wow. <laughs> You're stay at home, Dad. <laughs> but, but like, yeah. volunteer for this stuff. It's not that much time. So there are there are already existent organizations that have great public engagement are able to do lots of things. But you have to make a connection with them, and so I really like those ideas of trying to make it so that everything that happens is based on the one person in the role, but based on that community engagement. So it outlives whoever's here, and yeah. What you're just talking about with the lights on the river, they do that in Rhode Island, and it's, it's phenomenal. Amazing. It's mm -hmm. amazing. But like you said, you've got to have something to come to. You've got to have a restaurant that's going to serve. You've got to have shops to go to, and. The, but they don't want they don't work out. It's a, we actually have made some we've made some huge strides and I think you're gonna see a, an explosion of commerce in towns in the next two years. I have a lot of dozens of people already ask. I get about six bit calls a month. Of new businesses trying to come to town. So where, where are they coming to? Where, where's the mall? That, that disgusting orange the thing in the middle of town. What's that orange thing in the middle of town? No, 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 not not the White Knight Plaza. Is that what you're talking yeah. about? No, like uh, the Harbor Harbor Mond. Harbor oh, Mond. Okay, okay. We have a potential new um, business coming in there. Time. Yes. Um, but this um, is the other than Dallas Shore. And what? If the paperwork's coming, it's not Starbucks. There's a um, a, like an energy shakes place. Oh, yeah, the it's energy shakes. Shakes. That's so, yeah. Yeah. and and um, it, we, because like it neutral, because it has been covered in public. Right. There, yeah. yeah, there is plans so, for Starbucks yeah. to yeah. open a facility at the mall yeah. in the next year. Say the mall yeah. after yeah. Yeah. Across from high school. So, yes, exactly. next to the grocery store. That one down. Yeah. Nope. Right. Is there anything going on on that one? Yeah. Well, which one? One in the center. Anyway, the one right down here the, with the family dollar. Yes. Uh, I don't know of anything there yet. So there has been a because of the rail trail, there's been a huge interest 
in commerce in Townsend, oh. in areas that have accessibility to the I, rail trail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of people have already come in oh, with nice. ideas there. Yeah. We've had stuff that's come in some places that are actually following through, some places that have just been exploratory, oh, yeah. like that whole, there was a whole conversation about a food truck place because it was accessibility to the rail trail, but it was that ultimately, that got withdrawn. And so that's not going anywhere right now. Mm -hmm. But um, that, that's the space that's potential for other Mm -hmm. But yes, so there's so yeah. because of the rail trail, we should expect a lot of commercial growth. Plus, what you talked about earlier, post pandemic, people want things in their community. We've had a bunch of new restaurants open in town in the last year. Like the soup place is phenomenal. Sweet and salty is also really good. Like it's already happening, and it's going to keep happening. And so that's why it's important to have a good plan like this to sustain them. And if we are yeah. what, and if and now interest people and coming people coming in. Pizza you can eat. That's so yeah, we probably don't need any more. Pizza. I'd like I'd love going to see because I'm talking about like tourists too. Right? Right? You have to start talking residents. Right? So that's the other piece of it is 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 I imagine that Townsend is going to become a big day use recreational community. Yes. I've talked a little bit about this and not put a forward official proposal, but again, I'm going to get on my little soapbox if I can. I think we should market ourselves as a um, one of these day use recreational communities where you come enjoy the bike path. And then and we'll have fish, what is the yes. boat, kayak, eat some food, and then at seven at night go home and we'll have the town to ourselves. And then we'll have to on your way out. Yeah, go to Bailey's on your way out. Shop at all of our antiques, go to our 15 yeah. antique shops and then go home. Yeah. And you know, that's all your clothes are there. So when I, I when we, when we first came here, I was in church. So yeah. This was a yeah. very, very long yeah. time ago. Yeah. But um, people used to come up here antiquing yeah. and a ton of business was for us. That's the reality. Yeah. 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 That's the thing. That's that, it's getting that, rebranded. Yeah, yeah, it's yes. getting rebranded. Yeah. There's the bespoke custom vintage. Vintage. Yeah. It's a vintage. Antiques are out, vintage to sin. Correct. Um, and we're getting there. Had an antique vintage of what you But it's become, it, and again, it's, it's about that, um, it's about pulling these pieces to our primary goal and getting that primary goal strategic enough that we can funnel. And I think that that's going to be the hardest part is making the goal the right one so that all these pieces will lo logistically and logically funnel to that one piece. So that's the, what you're absolutely right. And the way that it needs to start is there needs to be something somewhere that says this needs to be a goal. And one of the first places that you can put it is, is the open space protection plan. So if open space says, let's be, let's improve outdoor recreation resources and try to use them to encourage commerce, yeah. then the planning board will act on that and the master plan can get incorporated into yeah. that you know like so, it yeah. but it has to if we circle back to the funding thing that yeah. veronica's yeah. trying to cut us back onto yeah, on that's that. fair uh, yeah. so, but there there are grant lines there are possibilities mm -hmm. that we, we will be like mass trials grants and oh, things like that that we have yeah. to have for the state of, money uh the other one is water something or other the uh Land and Water Fund. Or oh yeah, 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 yeah. We we would call oh, that, but you have to have an up to date open space. In the yeah. Well, yeah. Now. So the sooner because we get this done, this, the sooner we can apply open. open. Well, that's in general true with things. Across. We we don't have we we finally have a master plan, which was something that you couldn't get a lot of funding until you had a master plan. Mm -hmm. uh, we're having an open space plan that's coming together. We're having uh, we had an MVP plan that got put together last year. Like because we finally are a town hall that's working to get things done, things are getting if done. Working together for once. Things you, know, and you have the to staff. How do you have staff? That's also a huge piece. And of we it. do need we have a posting for a grant administrator because then he resigned. Yes. We really do Why did he leave? He wasn't even here a minute. Oh, he was here about six months. He was a little over six months. He basically realized that he he was retired and came here as a part-time job to answer, to support his retirement and realized he liked retirement more. Like, not in a derisionary way. He just, he was like, this is not working out for me. This is, well, he, was, he was great, but he's like, this work, this is a very intensive workload. Yeah. It's a good role. It's a good job, but I feel like I want to just be retired at this point. And oh, so okay. we, love so we do have a posting up for that. I think Bron yeah. take that job when she's done with the board of selectmen. It would be amazing. Who, me? Once you're done with the board of selectmen. 
Uh, oh, 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 oh. It's supposed to get a franchise. That's that's true. It's it's hard to hire a ten hour position for a non retired. Well, it should be fifteen, and we we lowered it to ten um, at town meeting because at Vinny's request, and really need the fifteen. So that's going to go back up. You will see that at fifteen. So yeah, the town it is a two day a week job it really is one of the hard things about where town is at is we are spending money on staff and we all know that you have to in kind of invest in that to get grants you know things like that like my office is full, <laughs> not immediately but in the next few years is to become a self-funded office and pay for itself moving forward but you can't start someone on day one and say self-fund yourself starting day one that's not no, possible. Not. You have to really? put something together. Well, I know you because you're amazing. I'm get hot. We all can't be you, <laughs> all right? But even then, I'm just so kidding. it's uh, it's the kind of thing that like you have to invest a little bit. You have to prime the pump to use yeah. a phrase. And we're at that hard point where people don't really appreciate that. They're already seeing their tax bills. They don't want to spend more. They want to get more for what they've got. They don't understand the benefit that's coming to them. Now we are going to start delivering it. And we already have people who call about the bike lanes and the signs oh, yeah. and the rail trail and say, this is phenomenal. I love it. We have people trying to come and move into the community. Property values are increasing. More businesses are coming because of these investments. And in five, in three, five years from now, when the next committee sits down to do this, they're gonna have a whole better time of like people love this. This is what the community is now. Well, the priorities will have changed so, because a lot of those base things that we're talking about are in play already. Yeah. By, when, right. Once we get there, right? right. Like, it's we're building traction right now. So yeah. I see. So it would be lovely, like I'm doing this home ec program that I got the grant for, and we're gonna be doing window garden for them. Wouldn't it be awesome if we actually I could actually teach them how to garden garden, not window garden? You should say you should connect with uh, I'm just saying you should connect with Emily and Catherine, she wants to do community gardens. I and mean, well, I, she's already doing my finance. There's no community gardens, there's no my, community gardens in town. Not in town, but but as part of that is, I mean, there is a need, I think, for people that don't have that. property. Oh um, a lot of people do garden in town. Yes. Oh, you so, have yeah. land. Yeah, a lot of people do garden. We have a lot of we have a lot of a really strong agricultural identity in town. Big jump over my cell phones. Yeah, the deer. So, the deer. Um, the deer and there is actually state grant funding for community gardens, yes. and so it's just the slow process of getting us going. What and I'm working with Emily on that. And so what I've like. seen at looking for getting things like field space a complex building, a community garden, they require, and here's where we go back to that funding thing where nobody wants to pay for it for taxes. And I understand, however, the town needs more than just an open space and recreation. They need engineering permits. Mm -hmm. They need to have, right, they right, need right. to have like all yeah, these up-to-date pieces. Like there's a lot of, there's a lot of like, oh, and the forestry has to do, uh, there's a lot of those outside moving pieces that we have not until now had access to. But now that we're getting up to date, like you said, on some of these things, we're mm -hmm. now having access to some of this. And mm -hmm. and part of that too is staffing, like a town a engineer. Oh, you know, huge. if we had, it would be wonderful to have a, a town we engineer share. with another town. We should have, or to share. Yeah, yeah. that I love That's that a, model. I wonder if MRPC great. does something like that. If there's a community yes. engineering program, they either have in place, or if they could stand yes, that up. You know, and the same, I actually think like grants would be a great way to do that too, mm -hmm. is to have a, a single person that's shared between communities, because a big part of that is understanding what's out there, but engineer especially, because that's something, it's hard to justify a full-time high-paid engineer for two or three projects a year for a town, but over a high fidelity town. You always, there's always, like you said, the moving pieces, you know, and I come from estimating project estimating background. There's moving pieces. I worked on bidding projects that were three years. You know, they like they hadn't even cut started cutting trees yet, mm -hmm. and you know, having to develop budgets and pricing and this and that. Mm -hmm. You know, but town of Bedford has their own engineer, and they were I forget what the population now. I know it's exploded. They put a lot of work. Yeah, they have. Um, and their master plan keeps evolving. At, you know, it's evolved quite a bit in the last 10 years. But, yeah. you know, that's an example of, I think they 
put the cart before the horse and it's paid off. I no, I agree. I think we need it. You know, I will great, especially for for it would be wonderful for that for the um like if we want to we're considering painting bike lines on South mm -hmm. Railroad and down. Harbor yeah, South Harbor Road for yeah. access from Timberley Park, Park to the rail track. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so we'll and that's a floodplain issue apparently, and the town would anyway. The whole other committee. Well, that's a whole <laughs> something that would tie this community together even quicker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I don't so agree. it's it's a you know, and then exploring the north of the rail trail. That's another. So do we use? There's two trestles, but if you don't, actually, I saw I watched and sent a video of the New Boston Rail Trail mm -hmm. to Bill Rideout, and there this. Um, guy did a great job of it, you know, and it's going through it. But they do single lane, essentially trussels, mm -hmm. single lane, um, lane uh, spans over the water. Oh, um, how great that would be! You know, they know the trussel that's part of, you know, to the north, yeah. um, so you can't use it. I mean, there's also the one to go um, at Adam's Dam. Adam's Dam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. but. There are again. There's programs where you can get the Corps of Army Engineers back here to fix those things. So that's there are programs. For yeah. That. So it's. Not, I love that, but I so, love the yeah. idea of prioritizing. Yeah. Do we want, and and I think yeah. this is it's again. This comes to it. Are we prioritizing? Like we know what we want in our town now. We know what the priorities the townspeople are looking towards. We know what the priorities, but we're looking to. The priority is actually five years down the line because we are looking at their output, not necessarily their input. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. That's our goal searching, right? right. For the most part, is we're looking at. You go back to the recreational facility. That's three to five years. Oh yeah, yeah. at least. By the time you're done. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. can accelerate it, but yeah. realistically, but yeah, you know, it's a long term. It's a three to five or year project. Process. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, it's a long term process. And the, for that. Trestle for that. So a good good example is that you mentioned that bridge. Mm -hmm. If that was in a priority plan to say, let's figure out a feasibility if that could happen, then I, the land use coordinator, could would spend staff time coordinating with Fish and Wildlife and calling the right people to see if it's feasible. <laughs> yeah. With that. Yeah. Oh no. no, no, no. And then really good goal. And then I could. So oh, it's 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 on the way. It but is. then if either it's there's a pathway forward and we find some grant program that no one's considered yet, or there's some thing on the horizon that's not yet known that could support that, or okay. it's yeah. absolutely not feasible and we have a detailed report as to why. Mm -hmm. And that way people can no longer have the conversation, why are we doing that? Mm -hmm. You know, we can move back mm -hmm. to the next, whatever the next priority is. The next one is. But yeah. you have to say, I we have to it. start with this, and then I can justify my time as a land use yeah. staff mm -hmm. into it. And then when, if there's a holdup, I can say, this is why we need. So our next meeting, we, we have to get, oh, we, we have should to get set the next time. meeting, shouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah. We can't move forward without I'm going to start sending Jeff. Jeff. Jeff's going to. I have. Yeah. So I would, I would, we, we had a little bit of conversation about this in early August. I would really encourage you guys to reach out to Jeff specifically. Oh, with it's committee, not you? No, well, I, I'm, I can do it as well. But if it's you communicating with me, communicating with Jeff, forwarding what you sent that just creates an extra thing like jeff is not he he's happy to come to as many meetings as he wants but his real as we want but his real goal is to support us in the workflow and so you can engage with him directly and say hey jeff and i would just i would encourage you to copy me yeah i would encourage you to copy me so that i can help move right. things along and i also know what else is being worked on as well um but you know, he's he's been clear at this point. It might be to help. He wants he wants as much as us to get this going and okay, to get I some stuff send together. Him stuff if he hasn't updated one, yeah. two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Again yeah. and again, um, it's iterative. It's, we're getting we're not yet to draft. I don't yeah. have anything from. Yeah, I I only have the original. I don't have anything since early July same. or right. early June. Mm -hmm. I so I'm assuming it's still at the same place. Yes. Okay. All right. That's good. So when do we want to meet again? Not three on a weeks, planning board day. Three weeks. 
when is playing going to second and fourth? So they don't have another meeting in September. Their meeting for the 26th was canceled um, because of lack of uh, attendance for what they could have. So there's. How do they know that? Uh, well, they know how many members they have, and they already had two members come back and say they're not going to be able to meet on the 26th, oh. which is already enough. Right. Um, so they have a meeting on the second and the no, no not the second that's the second. i'm sorry the third they have a meeting on the third and on the 24th of october but there are no more meetings in uh, september so september is free if we want to have another september meeting um the third they're meeting on the third the 10th is a holiday so the 17th is available if we want to keep doing mondays I'll and then on the, 17th. the 24th they have a meeting again and then it's halloween and i would not recommend having a meeting on mm -hmm. halloween so it looks like the 26th of this month. Of this month. And it's good for me. You want to do it? James. No. Okay. I've got ski school Q&A that evening, but we should be done by Saturday. Mm -hmm. September 26th. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, this has been an amazing meeting. I can't believe how much great conversation we've had and so much discussion. I think we should kind of try and keep more to this format if we can. I feel like the rigid structure of this it's been kind of locking people in that early. This is amazing. But, um, you know, also, you guys had some amazing ideas. It's okay to start just writing stuff down and bringing it to the meeting and saying, here's some priorities and some I things. That, you know, it, especially now that we have been informed by the survey that has reinforced what our priorities are. If you guys want to come in and say in an email or have written down on this paper, say, I think we should do this bridge. I think we should do this direct complex. I mean, no one's going to object to putting it in. And we've got drafts. So, that should be the Did you get that I gave you? This is, I just will, I love this meeting. I'd love to have more women. I don't think I have that one. Second. Are we drawing the work session to a close? Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Yeah. I I will let Dave know because Dave is we're keeping Dave right now. Dave. Hey Dave. Thank you, Dave. We're going to release you. Are you with us? No, he's I think he has to That's all right. Hey, James, my friends. Maybe he didn't <laughs> maybe he didn't um, um, do you want to try you and I answer that for me? Oh, you're being recorded right now this whole time. This all this all got recorded. Yeah, we did. We decided to do that. Uh, Dave, I don't, I hey, we're gonna whole... we're breaking up here. So, thank okay. you so much. No problem. You have a good evening. I mean, we awarded it to you, but it's up to Aaron to get you guys to sign.